And that's what we're going to be doing in here. So I did the base plates, crossbars, uprights, fabric options. So I run through these because these are, I don't know why, but these are, well not banjo, but a lot of poly, people talk about poly a lot. You don't never see me use no poly, ever. Because for one, poly is pretty much for, let's just say you go to a venue and they have a big old window. Some people like natural light, some people don't. Poly is good for black, blocking out light, right? Another reason I would use poly, who said they do boxwood? Yeah, so you know, some of those boxwood, if you ain't got a great quality, you can see right, you can see right there. Yeah. So I would put a poly blend behind that. It's perfect for that. Or, why else would I use poly? I don't. I've used it probably when I was doing um, schools, when I was draping stages and things like that, we used poly. But it's so thick and it holds wrinkles and it's just not good for premium draping when we have so many other options, especially not to mention stretch. Y'all know stretch is my favorite for several reasons because it's maintenance free and it's cheap. But that for me, I to always try and tell people, get poly out your head, think of stretch. It's just, it's going to be your best friend. Voil, I don't use it a lot, but I have so much of it, so I'll find ways to incorporate it. Voil is good because for one, it's sheer. It's good for um, like a flowy kind of look, beach, you know, like beach stuff or definitely weddings. You'll find a lot of sheer at weddings. Um, the reasons I use sheer, and you guys will see this when we get the draping, and exactly where I place it and why, sheer is a stiffer blend of fabric. So you won't see me swag with sheer. Why? Because it don't swag. It's not for that. That's not really the intended use of it. Now, what will swag a little bit is crush sheer. Now, you'll see me use crush sheer. Some of you guys probably have it in your fabric options today. Um, but so sheer is good for giving you that romantic kind of feel and kind of look. So it's very popular and it's, it's cheap. Um, satin, that's another one I don't really use too much. For one, it's shiny. It reminds me of bad makeup, especially when you're taking... <laughs> It just did, especially when you're taking pictures and they give you that flashback. Satin will definitely do that, if, especially if the photographer is not like a you know high quality and know how to do all that stuff. And it, some colors of satin just can really make your backdrop look cheesy. But then some colors of satin make you know could, could make it pop. I've seen some some satin really great, but then you got to iron it, you got to steam it. It's, it's just like that fabric that's kind of it got a lot of maintenance to it. Um, so that's why I just kind of stay away from it. And banjo, I don't know why, but, but oh, K Karen, okay, so this will be good for you. Banjo, cause especially now, I like Georgia Expo carried in all colors. I like all colors. But it's not something you would incorporate into the theatrical backdrops that we're going to do today. However, kids parties, banjo is perfect. So guys, if you liked the video that you just saw, guess what? You could click either one of these videos below to get even more tips, tricks, and resources, right? But don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell so you can get the notifications so you know every Tuesday and Thursday when I upload a new video. Stay tuned, be blessed, and again, share this video. Have anything you'd like to see specifically? Put it down below in the comments and I'll be sure to get it on schedule.